Hey everyone, this is my quick discussion in 150 day before and after review of Volufiline for the treatment of under eye bags and dark circles. Volufiline is a cosmetic ingredient created by the French company Sederma and is sold either by itself or as an ingredient in skincare products. It was originally developed as a way to grow breasts in women by promoting the fat cell growth in breast tissue. But the idea also emerged that it could be used to grow fat cells in the face, most notably to combat dark circles under the eyes. In this video, I'm going to talk about what volufiline exactly is and how it works, and then share my 150 day before and after experience with the product. Volufiline in the most commonly sold form is an oil that contains a steroid sarsasopagenin, which is derived from plants. A 2022 academic review looked at numerous mice studies and found that sarsasopagenin had overall many health benefits, including anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, anti-bone loss, and neuroprotective properties. At the same time, actual human studies were lacking, and the researchers also concluded that because of the poor solubility of sarsopagenin in bodily fluids, this limits its bioavailability in humans, despite the numerous health benefits it might offer. Sederma, the manufacturer of Volufiline, also did its own studies to confirm the efficacy and mechanism of action of Volufiline and sarsopagenin. Through test tube studies with human fat cells, researchers found a lot of evidence that exposure to sarsapogenin led fat cells to grow mature faster and grow larger. The theory here is that sarsapogenin inhibits a gene that inhibits fat cell differentiation, which now allows fat cells to grow. Researchers at Sederma also conducted one human study, which involved 28 women participants who applied volufiline to one breast but not the other. After 56 days, it was found that the treated breasts grew 2.2%, while the untreated breasts only grew 0.9% with a difference of 1.3%. Although the increase of the treated breasts from day 0 to day 56 was significant at the 10% level, the difference between the treated and untreated breasts was not significant. Volufiline was reported to be well tolerated in all test subjects, and I haven't experienced any side effects personally. From the limited scientific literature, it seems that sarsapogenin could have health benefits in humans and at the very least can promote fat cell growth in cell cultures. But the ability of volufiline to penetrate your skin and increase your subcutaneous fat is much more uncertain. Now about my personal experience with volufiline. The promise of this product is that it will grow fat wherever it touches, so I was very careful to only spread one small drop of it specifically under my eyes. The manufacturer also recommends diluting it in creams beforehand, so I applied my normal skincare routine and moisturizers on my face before adding it as the last step. Here's the before and after, after about 150 days of using volufiline on a daily basis. There were some days in between where I didn't use because of vacation or other reasons, but on the whole it's a consistent daily application once a day at night. As you can see, the difference currently isn't too noticeable in terms of under eye darkness. Even in the human studies, it only increased fat in an area by 1%, so it's possible my under eye area is 1% thicker now. My eyes do look less puffy in the second picture, but that could be because of the slight variation in the angle of the picture or because of simply more sleep. In conclusion, given the lack of clinical evidence, the relatively high cost of volufiline, and the inability to target certain fat cells, I think there's probably other skincare and eye care products that are more worth your money to purchase right now. If you really want to optimize that last 1% of your skincare routine, by all means try out volufiline. Some on Reddit and the rest of the internet have reported really great results with this stuff, while others haven't really seen a difference at all. So far for me, I consider myself more on the non-responder side, but maybe it'll change with longer term use. If you're interested in other ways to tackle your under eye bags, I've created a video with other clinically proven techniques that I'll link in the description below. Hope you found this personal review helpful and like and subscribe for more self-improvement content.